Senator Jaskowski. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, I've got uh, similar thoughts to Senator Limmer. Um, and I, I look at the drafting of the bill, and it's interesting, the authors of this bill construe the Minnesota Constitution in uh, subdivision four in lines 1.20 through 1.22, and they, they talk about individual liberty, personal privacy, and equality without any particular citations of any parts of the Constitution specifically. And I look at Article I, Section 7 of the Minnesota Constitution, no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process. And members, when a woman is in the process of seeking care, and she's, she's pregnant and seeking care, most physicians I talk to consider two patients, the mother and the baby, at the same time, equally considering both of their health interests through the care and treatment around the pregnancy. This discussion and the structure of this bill have contributed to a picture that forgets or attempts to forget one of those two patients, Mr. President, and that's the youngest one of them. Now that patient's life is at stake, and that is what is being lost in this bill. And if we're going to have an amendment, or this is essentially a finding section, I agree with Senator Abler, it's, it's, there's nothing of substance there. It's a, it's a disguised findings statement, which many legislators try to avoid, and courts certainly don't appreciate. But we have to remember that there's another person here. And that's the one that can't defend themselves. And this Constitution, Mr. President, stands for them too. We should have an amendment that uh, seeks to actually cite section, Article 1, Section 7 of the Minnesota Constitution and replace this language with that. That would be a better and more complete and accurate representation of the interests of our people in relation to the Constitution. Mr. President, I support Senator Abler's amendment and encourage others to do as well. Thank you, Mr. President.